Hi friends, we'll solve problem on variable acceleration. See what is given in problem. The velocity of a particle traveling in a straight line is rectilinear motion is given by v equal to 60 minus 3t square. That means velocity is given as a function of time t where t is in seconds. Some boundary condition is given if s equal to 0 when t equal to 0. What it represents initially when t is 0, position is 0. Determine particles deceleration and position when t equal to 3 seconds. This is your first part of the problem. Second, how far has the particle traveled during the 3 second time interval and what is its average speed? That means total 3 parts we have to find out. Deceleration and position when t equal to 3 seconds is first part of problem. How far has the particle traveled during 3 second time interval? That means this is second part and what is its average speed is the third part. Equation what is given in problem is equation of velocity. The right equation of velocity v equal to it is 6t minus 3t square. Say this one is equation number 1. As velocity equation is equation in terms of time t that means velocity is a function of time t. From this velocity equation if you want to find out particles deceleration that means here you have to find out what is acceleration a. To find out acceleration as v is a function of time t will differentiate this equation with respect to time t what will get here dv upon dt means acceleration equal to so if we we'll differentiate it becomes 6 minus differentiation of 3t square is what 6t dv by dt is acceleration acceleration equal to 6 minus 6t this is equation number 2 equation of velocity is equation number 1 what equation of acceleration you are getting is equation number 2 one more equation is must and that one is equation of position find out equation of position we will write this v in terms of x and v in terms of x is written as v equal to dx by dt rate of change of displacement with respect to time t. Therefore, v is written as dx by dt which is equal to this is given equation of velocity 6t minus 3t square. Therefore, dx is written as 6t minus 3t square dt. If we we'll integrate this equation, that means integral of dx equal to integral of 6t minus 3t square dt. Integral of dx is nothing but x equal to integral of 6t, that means 6 into t square by 2 minus 3 into t cube by 3 and what will get here constant of integration say c1 condition what is given in problem at t equal to 0 x is 0 as a t equal to 0 if we'll substitute and x equal to 0 at t equal to 0 x is 0 if we we'll substitute here x 0 t is also 0 what is possible here c1 definitely becomes what 0 that means constant of integration is 0. Therefore, equation of x is written as what? 6 by 3 means what? 6 by 2 is what? 3 t square minus t cube. This is equation number 3. That means equation of velocity is given. After differentiation, you are getting equation of acceleration. And after integration, you are getting equation of position. What is asking problem? Determine particles deceleration and position when t equal to 3 seconds. That means simply we will substitute t equal to 3 seconds in both the equation. If we will substitute t equal to 3 seconds in second equation, second equation is equation of acceleration 6 minus 6 t that means 6 minus 6 into 3 that means 6 minus 18 answer comes out to be minus 12 meters per second square. 
negative sign represents what it is deceleration that means it is first answer again at t second you have to find out what position position equation is equation number 3 therefore t will substitute as 3 second in third equation the what will get here x that is position at 3 second which is equal to 3 into t square means 3 square minus 3 cube now 3 into 3 square means 3 cube minus 3 cube that means answer definitely comes out to be what this is 0 this is your second answer this is the first part of problem at t equal to 3 second find out what acceleration and position second part is what how far has the particle traveled during 3 second time interval you have to find out what distance traveled we will find out here distance traveled in which time interval in 0 to 3 second now at 3 second you know what is the position position is 0 meters at 0 second position is also 0 second see here we will write properly at t equal to 0 x 0 is 0 next at t equal to 3 second that x you can say 3 is also 0 that means position at 0 second and at 3 second are 0 as the position is 0 in between 0 and 3 second somewhere particle changes its direction of motion therefore we will find out what find the time instant at which find the time instant at which particle changes its direction of motion changes its direction of motion whenever particle changes its direction of motion its velocity becomes zero now if you equate this velocity to zero you know equation of velocity equation of velocity is given in problem therefore if you write this equation of velocity which is equal to v equal to 60 minus 3t square and this velocity equal to 0 now in between 0 and 3 second at what time instant this velocity becomes 0 from this one easily will get if we'll write this one properly what will get here 3t square equal to 60 that means 1t gets cancelled here finally answer t comes out to be 6 divided by 3 means 2 seconds that means in 0 to 3 time interval at t equal to 2 second velocity of particle becomes 0 therefore to find out distance traveled to find this distance traveled will divide this time interval in two parts total time interval is 0 to 3 seconds so we'll divide it in two time intervals one is 0 to 2 seconds second part is 2 to 3 seconds so to find out displacement in each time interval independently therefore what we'll write here delta x say 1 this is in 0 to 2 second first time interval plus next time interval delta x2 this is from 2 to 3 second that means in 0 to 2 second your displacement is written as what final position minus initial position that is x2 minus x0 plus in second time interval again final means x3 initial becomes what 2 second that means what x2 you will get distance traveled in 0 to 3 second as we will divide it in two time intervals 0 to 2 second and 2 to 3 second that means you must know what what is the value of x0 what is the value of x2 and what is the value of x3 where you know x0 and x3 already were calculated which is equal to 0 meters that means what is required now only position at 2 second to find out position at 2 second we will use equation of position and at t equal to 2 second what is the position at 2 second we will write with suffix 2 and we will substitute this 2 second 
in equation of position. Equation of position is 3t square minus t cube. Therefore, this becomes what? 3 into 2 square minus 2 cube. 3 into 2 square minus 2 cube value comes out to be some 4 meters. Therefore, now using this equation, distance travelled is equal to, we will substitute your value x2 is what 4 minus x0 is 0 next x3 is 0 minus x2 is 4 meter but this is in mod sign therefore what will get here 4 plus 4 which is equal to what 8 meters this is a distance traveled in this time interval of 0 to 3 seconds again what is asking problem is nothing but average speed if you want to find out average speed it is always a distance traveled upon time interval therefore average speed if you will find out average speed is distance traveled divided by time interval distance traveled is 8 meter and time interval is what 3 seconds. Therefore, this answer comes out to be what 2.67 meters per second. Thank you.